I like Shanghai way better than I thought. I can live here. <laughs> this is my first frog leg experience. Welcome to our last full day in Shanghai. So this morning we um, did some trip planning for Hong Kong and actually all the way out to Tokyo as well just because in Tokyo the room prices are a little bit nuts. So we wanted to look out more in advance so we could get a good price on a room and we, just, we got the last available room. Um, really close to Disney. For right now, we are exploring what we just missed yesterday. We thought we could do it all in Shanghai in one day, and yeah, no, no, it's just absolutely huge. So we are gonna go back to some parks today. It might rain, so I do have my rain jacket, and today is their Labor Day. So most people are off work today, so the parks may be a little bit crowded, but it'll be really fun to see people out and about. Second lunch. Like a crepe that looks so good. Yep. Oh, nice. That might just be four. It's not really any meat. Yeah. Ooh, it's so hot. That looks so good. Shishé. Peter pouring to something and he's like, I think it's four. And I was like, I don't think it's four, but go ahead and order it or ask her how much it is. So he points to her and asks how much, and then she just starts making it. So I'm like, all right, I guess we're committed now. And it was only four. Yeah. <laughs> and this looks amazing. And uh, that last thing she put on it though, those are some spicy, spicy peppers. So we will see if we uh, can handle that heat. Pretty good little hints of spicy. <laughs> So this McDonald's station is right next to our metro and uh, has this ice cream sp spot outside and it always plays this lovely music and anyways we just stopped on these lovely benches to get eat our crepe and now it was a little bit too spicy so now we're wanting to get ice cream. Alright everyone kept getting these like silver ice creams, grey ice creams. It tastes good. I don't know what it is though. Here you go. Does this look familiar? So we came back to Century Square and making our way towards Century Park. There are still some skateboarders here today. It's people flying kites, people taking bridal photos. Um, there are not as many people here though as there was on Sunday. And I thought there would be more since today is a holiday. But I am glad I'm wearing shorts because it definitely feels like 80 degrees today. Woo! It is hot and humid. So this is a Century Park clock and this is a main thing we wanted to see in Century Park and we're not actually going to go and explore any more of it because it does cost to get in. Not that much but enough that we have other things that we want to see that are free. It smells like spring here and it feels so good but you can see the storm clouds are coming in. It's about 80% chance of rain so yeah. I think we're gonna get drenched on pretty soon here. <laughs> Shanghai has some pretty cool and unique landscaping. I love it. Interesting looking sculpture thing. Ah, such amazing buildings and landscaping. So fun. Oh goodness, do you hear that rain? So we're gonna see if we can see a museum from here. It's like a 15 minute walk from where we are. Um, it was kind of just like a, if we sing to the outside, sure, let's do it, but not go down that rain. Back to the metro. <laughs> we have to walk now to line 13. Uh, hopefully we don't get too drenched. Can we do it undercover? Kind of? Okay, good. Oh my goodness. maybe 50 meters and we are drenched. Instant soak. Instant soak. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, I stepped in a puddle. There was no way around the puddle, and uh, my socks are soaked now. Oh, we made it. Oh, that was crazy. I haven't seen that big of a downpour in a long time. <laughs> and I think as soon as you started running, it actually got more. <laughs> they have such gorgeous paintings and artifacts and things like that in the metro stations. And voila, it looks like the rain has stopped. Quick metro ride to a different part of the city. Woohoo! Nice long steps. All right, welcome to M50. This is a artsy part of town here in Shanghai. Um, so you have some cafes, some art galleries, things like that. And it's super quiet. I think the rain really scared a lot of people off. People got stuck in like the metros and they didn't want to go and we continued on. So now that we're here, like not many people are here, which is really nice. So while this like looks really cool with the brick and uh, the greenery, it kind of just seems pretty dead in here right now. Um, it is a national holiday. I'll, some of these shops are closed up. That could be part of it. Um, the rain obviously is part of it. It's really peaceful down here. It doesn't feel like you're in a major city at all. And that's a, the thing about Shanghai is because yeah, it is like 20 to 30 million people in the greater Shanghai area. But because it is so spread out, you never really feel like super crowded unless you're on the waterfront area. But besides that, I mean, we haven't really felt like where it's too many people. Oh, and obviously one more place where you do feel like it's overcrowded, and that would be Disneyland Shanghai. Yeah, <laughs> you do feel rather crowded there. Oh, this looks fun. Wait, is this really the way out? No way. <laughs> Look at all of these apartments. Wow. So that's the building I just showed them. There's this one and then there's this one and yeah, all around. And then there's that one. Everywhere, apartments. Main residential area right here. And it's beautiful. Love the trees. And here is the last stop. It's a park close to Ryan's house. And then we are gonna get together for dinner. I think we're gonna go to a hot pot place and kind of like what we tried in Thailand. In Thailand, we just did not like it because the meat had like all these bones in it and all of that. Um, but he said this is much better and so we are willing to give it a second try. And actually, I'm kind of looking forward to it. That'll be dinner, but for right now, just enjoy this park and it's not like there's beautiful music. I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, it's like a waltz class or something. What's that, Peter? I love the parks here. You do a great job at the landscaping. So nice. Yeah, the parks are really awesome here. Their landscaping is seriously so cool. I can't even read what it says, and it's cool. <laughs> Man, I I ended up liking Shanghai way more than I thought I would, especially after our first full day experience at Disney with just the massive crowds. I, I really kind of then expected the whole city to be like that. And it's really peaceful. You can hear these amazing birds here in this park. Landscaping here, I've managed to keep it really clean for a city of this size is really amazing. Yeah, I agree, I like Shanghai too. Shanghai, apparently not Shanghai. But no, yeah, it's, it's big, but it's definitely a very livable city. I love the architecture here is really cool. I love all like the glass balls you know, they have like in that TV tower, in several different museums, buildings, and yeah, all these parks are really cool. So, I can live here. <laughs> yeah, pretty impressive. And we got Disney. And they had Disney. Over this holiday weekend, I have been checking my Disney app just to see if it continued at the rate it was when we were there. And none of the days have compared to the Saturday. So it's kind of weird to have Labor Day on a Tuesday. So a lot of companies also give you off Monday, but then you have to have a makeup day, which then is Saturday. So technically Saturday when we were at Shanghai Disney was actually a work day for a lot of people. 
but it was also the cheapest day in this holiday weekend. It was $20 per person cheaper for ticket. But had I known how busy it was going to be, I would have easily spent the 20 extra dollars uh, because then I really think you could see the park in one day. I'm looking and the wait times are less than half of what they were uh, when we were there. What a cool painting. Look at this. See this, all the paintings. This is so cute. I can already tell that I'm gonna love this better. <laughs> That's awesome. So is it like selecting like meat and vegetables? Is that what yes. it is? What kind of meat you eat? Kind of yeah, we're not picky. So whatever you guys think is best. You could not do this experience without a local speaker. <laughs> All right, time to go get our different sauces. Yeah, like a little bit spicier maybe. Yeah, like peanut or sesame based. And this is cool. Yeah. This is something I don't think we're really ever gonna get in the U.S. No. Too so hazardous. Yeah. Too happy people. This is the spicy side. This is the tomato-based side. Yep. And then you get all these different spices that you can add to it and create your own flavors. And then here is our stuff that we got to put inside of it. Oh, are those the mushrooms you're talking about? These are the mushrooms. Yeah. Cool. All right. Here are the frog legs going in. This is way cooler than our Thailand experience. <laughs> oh, whoa, more stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Whoa, that meat looks so good. Yeah, I mean, these are already cooked, so you can just drop those in and let them... Those are quail eggs. Whatever, yep. It's really tender. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to show you my frog leg, but it's really tender, so it keeps coming up. This is my first frog leg experience. You not going to dip it? Oh, can I have? You can. You don't have to. Pretty good, huh? That's really tender. Yes. Really I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of dishes. Yeah. Yeah, we are slowing down, but this was so good. Yeah, I'm glad <laughs> I don't have to do those dishes. Yeah. All right, we did pretty good. All right, that hot pot experience was like a hundred times better so good. than the Thailand experience. We are both stuffed. It still is more like, I feel like a social thing. Like it'd be good like, you know, to meet with friends or like family, um, cause it does take a longer time to cook things and to eat. So it, it's a good like long process. I mean, we were there, we were there two and a half hours almost. Long, long time. Yeah, I didn't realize how long it was. Yeah, like two and a half hours. Uh, but we're on our way now to go print something for tomorrow for our boarding pass and we'll, we'll meet them back at the house. Oh man, I'm so stuffed. <laughs> and those the frogs, place, the, the place frog was leg. so cool too. The door, like the, just the decor in there, everything was super cool. Yeah, and they, they like would sing when people would come in and, and sing leave. them a welcome song and then sing them a goodbye song. That was really fun, <laughs> they were, like chanting all together. I still don't know if it's something that I would like to do on like the regular, but it was a really fun experience for sure, and I'm glad that we got to experience it with them. All right, we have no idea what this number means, so we just handed it when we get in, and uh, now we'll figure out what to do. Everything here is done on WeChat. We do payments through WeChat, so what I did here at the print shop is you can't email them. That's too old, right? So you just scan the QR code, to add the shop on WeChat and then send the files through WeChat, kind of like you're sending it through like Messenger, Facebook Messenger. They get it, print it, and then you pay. It actually is really convenient. Super nice. yeah. Good to go. Let's roll. That was for half of what you want. For both? Wow. <laughs> Peter's smart wool socks did not hold up. This is crazy. Time to ditch them. Yeah. That's too many holes. Sorry, smart wool. Go with darn tough instead. Yeah, these these darn tough ones, they no holes. No, Perfect. they they are Brandy. darn tough. <laughs> yeah. There's some art that you're just like, ah, oh, it's beautiful. 
And then there's other art. You're just like, that person is just a little cuckoo. A little cuckoo? What park is this? Zhongshan Park. Zhongshan? Zhongshan. I think you nailed that one.